Hey guys, I'm LB, and let's continue the Fizzler Frenzy series. I quite enjoyed the first two, we are now going to check out Fizzler Frenzy 3 out of 5, by Mid. Number 3 in a series of 5 maps where each new map has one more Fizzler than the last. Medium, possibly, difficult... Uh, difficulty, not difficult. Momentum and Laser Puzzle. Fizzlers 3, video solution included. It requires some quick moves, but nothing too difficult for the average player. The challenge mainly lies in the portal shuffling logic. Remember to save and load progress. And Nock has added it to their favorites. As is expected for a map of this quality. So, let's get started, shall we? Press the keys in the wrong order there, so that's why you saw the door for one frame. Oh, look at that! That's B-Mod. Is there no music in this map, or is it quiet again? I think I can hear it, it's just really quiet. Yeah, there's music. It's just really quiet music. This is interesting. Hmm... Why would we have... Why would we have this, when we have that? That's... suspicious. Very suspicious. I guess this is only three blocks, whereas that is one, two, three, four blocks. So they are at least different in that regard. Interesting. Let's at least set it up. You never know when it might be useful. Okay, so that requires us to use portals, or something. How do we even get over there once we do that, though? Oh, there's a portal surface. Okay. Maybe that should be the first thing we do, actually. Wait, that's the start area, right? Oh, no! That's not good. If we place both our portals... We won't be able to get back to the start if I move my black portal right now. That's interesting. Hmm... So here's the question, when would I want... three blocks, but not four blocks of momentum? When would I want three blocks, but not four blocks? Because it seems like four blocks will work everywhere. Ah oh well, I quick saved. Let's just continue. Gets us the cube, which, of course. Of course. Let's just do that. There we go, that works. So now we have a cube. What do we do with the cube? Something over there. That. In particular, turns off the other Fizzler. What all can we do with this laser? Can we aim it to any reasonable degree? Not particularly well, but maybe. Hey, look at that. Fancy that. Well, that's at least one problem solved. What does this do? Gets us into there? What's over there, though? Why would I want to be over there? What? Huh? What? What is this area for? Is this to get back? Oh, I think that's to get back. Are we supposed to, like... Oh, we need... What? We need a laser here to point... Oh, okay, so we need a laser cube over here. Gotcha. Gotcha. So how are we going to accomplish that? Can we see that? 
from... We can't get onto that light bridge very easily, right? I don't think we would be intended to, anyway. Well, let's just try it. You never know. Yeah, we can't get on that light bridge, so that's out of the question. What about... we do... that? That doesn't seem too useful. Oh, come on, let me on here, please. Not... particularly... useful. But we can... do this. Ha! What does this get us? Nothing. Nothing at all. Great. So yeah, our end condition is just to put a laser cube there, and have the laser coming out of that surface. So that still really confuses me about what the heck this is for, because we wouldn't want to, like, go through it multiple times. We wouldn't want to place a portal above and below, because we wouldn't be able to shoot anywhere. And that's never really an intended thing to do anyway. Like, we might get a glimpse of that over the Fizzler, but... ...it wouldn't be particularly useful. No, we can't even see it over the Fizzler! Yeah, even when we hit our heads at the top there, we can't see that. But... ...we can... ...do that. Wow, that's a... that's a strong bend. Ha! <laughs> that looks very interesting, doesn't it? Look at that laser bend. I like how it takes a frame before it snaps into proper position. Anyway, enough of that distraction. Even if we used the Great Glitch, that wouldn't help us, because the cube would just get stuck up there. The dilemma... ...is that we need... ...to do that. Is there anything this laser cube can point at that's particularly helpful? Not really? No. Because it has to be on that button, so it can only point there, there, out here, or back into the portal. So that's not too useful. Maybe... Maybe this is a multi-step process. That was dumb of me. Why did I do that? I need to do... Let's save here, let's do that first. And then that. Uh, there we go. That's a bit better. And then we can respawn the cube inside there. And then... I guess we take the cube out, right? We outright take the cube. So we have the cube now. Right, I need to readjust this. There we go. Now we're making progress. We can put it... here, approximately. The issue... Maybe that's what this is for, maybe this is to help us... jump the gap... while keeping a portal over here. I think that's exactly what this is for.
So then we... pull here. And... My portals are gonna be backward through the laser, but that's okay. There we go. And no, no, I need to do... this first. I need to get my portal re-aligned. Ta-da! And... BAM! Did it! The one questionable move I made... was using the laser... angle with the cube right there. That might... have been unintended. Although I don't see any other- any other way to have done it. But I do like this map either way. Whether it's intended- whether that, that thing I did was intended or not, it's still a great map. I really like it. I'm gonna add to my favorites. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, as always, thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it, and I'll see you all in another video. Goodbye!